Welcome to another episode of Frankie D Crafter. This week we'll be crafting a windmill. So I had a lot of fun making that lighthouse and I figured it was about time to add a windmill to the mix. I had just run out of white paint and I figured that it was the right size to use as a structure for my windmill. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that you should probably get all the material ready before you even start the project. The first thing I do is sketch out a rough idea of what I want it to look like when I'm done. I have to keep in mind that this is something I plan to place minis on, so playability is a factor. I'm not the type of person to plan things out, I mostly always wing it, but if I plan to improve, I have to start, well, I have to start to plan. Hopefully the results translate well on that side of the screen. I do end up making small mistakes on what should have been an easy build, like throwing a plan and then completely disregarding it when it comes to finally starting the project. Luckily I slapped myself back in line. I started off with the wrong lower design. It's not a big deal. I fix my mistake in less than a minute and get back on track. I decide to work on this craft in four sections. The lower level, the upper level, the roof, and the mill part thingy. You know what I'm talking about. My plan was to make sure the lower level was finished before I moved on to the second floor. This way, I wouldn't have any issues when it came to painting, and I wouldn't be creating unnecessary obstacles for myself. I'm working with polyform air dry clay because it's a beautiful clay and it just feels great. It's incredibly easy to work and texture. Every time I make a project I feel like there's one key component that I figure out that makes me want to revisit old projects and upgrade them. With the catacomb, it was the candles that made me want to revisit the Gravelord. With the lighthouse, it was the popsicle sticks that made me want to revisit my docks. And now with this, it's the doors. I'm really proud of how it turned out. I got a few other doors I gotta fix now. When it comes to the wall here, I use what I think might be the simplest solution, but you can't argue with the results. I take some PVA glue and add very fine sand to it. I make sure to put a lot of glue within the gaps of the cardboard. So I finish the first floor and start painting. This feels weird to me because I don't normally do this, but now that I have, I wonder why I didn't start sooner.
second floor, so walk in the park. The only issues I faced here were completely my fault and lack of foresight, but I'll get there in a few. I mentioned how I had to keep playability in mind. Platforms are extremely important to me, especially because I like to play with everything I make. Hit that like button if you feel the same. I feel like I'm getting better with these platforms. Stacking here is the easy part. I've done this before on other builds. You should have the hang of it by now. I did mention on the last video how I started to make the bricks thinner. And I have to say, it makes an awesome style difference. Move on to the roof. I didn't want to use foam for this part. Knowing me and my players, it's very likely that the roof is going to be the place where we inevitably pick this crap from. It has to be strong. I'm using cardstock and PVA glue. But first I have to texture it because flat surfaces are a big no-no. I'm using the same tool I textured the popsicle sticks with because so far it hasn't let me down. And just like on previous builds, it works wonders. Don't forget to add a beam through the roof to connect it to the mill. Glue it all together and get it painted. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Next is the actual windmill. Surprisingly, this had to be the easiest part of this whole craft. I texture the skewers just a bit and map out my design. I add a little bit of clay here just to add a little bit more strength. I keep the roof and the mill separate for now. This was done in a matter of minutes, including dry time for the glue, since it was so hot and sunny that day. What's next? I feel like I'm on a roll. Let's keep this going. I make railings for the platform. But Frankie, why are those railings so spiky and edgy? You sit back down and hit that subscriber button if you haven't yet done so. I'll explain myself. There'll be monsters out here, son. 
enough said. No further questions. But this is where I make a mistake that holds all of my momentum. I decide to glue the roof. Okay, not bad so far. I decide not to glue the windmill, yet. Awesome decision. I don't want it to get in the way for when I start to pay. Wait a minute. Frankie, what are you doing? Oh, you're just making holes for the railing. That's pretty smart. It's gonna be sturdy as hell. Just be light on the pressure and be aware of where your weak little fingers are. Wait, did you? No. Did you drill your fingers, Frankie? No, you couldn't have. That's not it. No, that's not it. Wait, why are you gluing the railings now? You said you weren't gonna make any obstacles for yourself. Frankie! Frankie, no! You were supposed to be the chosen one! That's not the only mistake I make on this level. Oh no, there's more. It's at this point that I make the decision to make something I've never done. And instead of testing and practicing, I decide to jump into deep water and hope that I can swim my way out. I added stone details to the window frames. My mistake here was to not look at any references and I go in blind. Please do not do this, ever. It's a rookie mistake. Bad Frankie, bad Frankie. I should know better. Alright, enough of me talking to myself in the past like I could hear myself. Whew, I gotta get out more often. But man, did I mess up here. I was doing so well. This little mistake made it so much more difficult to paint everything else. Why? Why did I have to make it pointy? Like it wasn't already challenging enough. That I put this little stupid window here. It's like I forgot how to paint. This window is dumb. Really, really dumb. I'm sorry window, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. It's just that I messed up. And I didn't know how to deal with that frustration. Will you ever forgive me? Okay, let's get back to the actual crafting. So, on top of it being difficult, I also painted it more than once. I think I painted it four times because I just wasn't happy with the final look. It wasn't until I used separate washes for the different bricks that I was finally able to say I was happy with them. I used black for the gray ones. The wash that I used for the planks, I used for the yellow and orange bricks. And I used the purple wash for the purple bricks, pretty straightforward. I added a few more details here and there before I took this craft to the editing room. I'm having a lot of fun building these rooms and crafting these buildings but if I were to ever do something like this again I would probably make the platform all the way around the reason why I didn't do it for this craft was because I felt like the paint container 
wasn't tall enough for me to have the platform and the windmill. That's why I decided to do that. But I guess I'm still getting used to planning. Next time, it'll be a lot better. Let me know if there's any buildings you would like me to craft in the comment section below. Thank you very much again. If you like what we do here on the channel, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And if you want to support the channel a little bit more than just doing that, you can always check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Like always, guys, thank you. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.